Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to change the oil and filter on a Yamaha 150 horsepower four-stroke outboard. But you can use the same techniques for almost any four-stroke engine. To do the oil change, you're going to need fresh water muffs, dipstick oil pump, Yamalube 10W30 oil, a funnel, oil filter, and wrench. We're going to put um, engine muffs on the intakes. Make sure they're positioned correctly. Turn on the garden hose again so that the engine's getting plenty of water. And now it's time to start up the engine and warm it up. What we're trying to do here is warm up the engine so that the oil change is going to be a little bit easier. So you really want to warm it up at idle for five minutes or so is plenty. Of course, make sure that water is coming out. Now there are several ways of changing the oil. We're going to use an oil pump, a hand pump, that's going to suck the oil out of the engine. We're going to start by removing the filler cap from the top of the engine. That's going to break any airlock. We're going to remove the dipstick. And that filler pump comes with a straw that's going to get inserted right into that dipstick tube. You want to insert that all the way down until it bottoms out. The other end attaches to the pump. You pump it up 10 times or so and just basically sit back and wait. Now this pump is, really, is, is kind of a good one. Um, you can pump oil out you know, after warming up the engine, comes out very easy. But with this pump, you could actually pump out the oil even if you didn't warm up the engine. I got out just over a gallon from each engine. It takes a little while. Once you get all the oil out, I'm just going to move this over to the side so it's not so precariously balanced. The other method of draining oil, on the back of some of the engines, the L transom models, there's a plug. And, and basically you just remove that plug remove the um, oil fill cap to break the airlock and it would just flow out right into an oil pan. On the engines that I have, which are the T-transom models, there's a panel on the starboard side. That panel has to be removed with, uh, I think, six bolts and one screw. And after you remove that panel, then it exposes that drain plug, which is on the side. And again, you would, you would remove that plug and then remove the cap and, and the oil would drain out into a pan. The easier method was with the pump that we used. Now we're going to move on to changing the oil filter. Now you are probably going to need an oil filter wrench in addition to the filter. The filter just unscrews with the oil. You know, don't forget the oil is already drained out of this engine at this time. So I'm just going to unscrew the old filter. I'm going to take the replacement filter. I'm going to put a little oil and just lubricate that gasket. Screw it right back into position. I did put a rag underneath just to make sure there wasn't any spillage. And you can just snug it up with the, with the filter wrench. I'm going to fill up this engine with uh, Yamalube uh, 10W30 oil. I know basically how much I took out but just using a funnel, very easy. And then just check the dipstick occasionally until you've got it filled, per, you know, filled between the, the markers showing that the engine is, is full. And that's basically it. A very simple do-it-yourself project, uh, changing the oil and oil filter on a four-stroke outboard. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section. And please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you very much.